there's no war coming. Amen. Like I said when I'm preaching, I'm begging my pastors and colleagues, let's not bring more embarrassment to the name of Christ. Just keep quiet and leave God to finish what he's doing in, with Nigeria. Don't let flesh move you. We may 29 come, yes. We will cross May 29, yes. We things go back to normal, yes. Is there going to be other drama? Yes. What kind of drama? I can't tell you. But is there a great future? Yes. And this is my advice. And I will speak in parable and I will use the scripture. Leah was hated so much because of the hatred she suffered. God continued to open her womb and God shut the womb of Rachel. I told you in the crossover, I said the most hated candidate is going to receive the favor. Hear me. If your hatred continues, what you are afraid of to see you will see it smoothly running your lifetime. God doesn't give any woman being that power to hate a creation he has created. You pray and leave judgment in the hands of God. You are not God. Let the law court do what they need to do. You are not the law court. Once you move and take it personal, you confer favor on that person more. Prophet, what are you seeing? Not seeing anything. May 29 will come. The candidate there will be sworn in. He will become your president. And he will sit there. And he will bring a transformation that you have not seen. The first section will be tough, but after everything, things will go smoothly. The most, hear me, the most hated candidate that you have hated will do wonders in your life and in your eyes, and you will be shocked. The one you think will not perform, that you have hated, that you have abused, you will use your mouth to say, it will be tough. You will see drastic change to bring little action, but to smoothly somersault, you will use your mouth to say it. The ways of God are pathfinding. You can't understand it can understand. I don't know why. I don't understand. That's why I say it's a mystery. If a saint sit on that seat, he might not perform. I don't know how. He uses the foolish things of this world to confirm the wisdom of the wise. Abuse me. No problem. I'm a different prophet. I won't prophesy the way you want. It's not about feelings. That's why I'm begging you. Keep quiet. You have made one mistake. Don't make another one. Give Jesus a clamp of it. I know what you want. What you want, allow the law court to pursue their things. Don't bring your feelings in. No man ambition is worth the division of this country. Let's leave the law court to do their thing. There's a law court in this country. If they say here, we follow. If they say here, we follow. Nigeria must not be prone into anarchy. And no man of God should incite anybody against anybody. We have it. I started last year. I said, vent your anger through the leather means. But anything that brings you to a point where you are inciting people in the name of prophecy, you have left the plan. We are peacemaker. And we should be looking for the good of our Jerusalem. And hear me, Nigeria is more than a political gathering. We, we have so many people. We don't, want to, we don't want to get to a point because of how we feel. We throw this country into darkness. No. If there is injustice, let the law court still do it. You are not the law court. I believe in the judiciary system of this country. I believe. 
We have to start believing in it. And whatever happens as the art come, let's trust God. If it doesn't work this time, it will work next time. And this issue of there's no, Nigeria is bad. Nothing good is going to come out. Hear me, Nigeria is not bad. Something good is going to come out. If you go to other country, you will thank God for this country. Let's, let's be positive about this country. Hey, I know you abuse me, I don't care. Don't judge Nigeria by one election. The future is going to get better. If we destroy Nigeria, that Nigeria you are desiring to see tomorrow, you might not see it. Let's keep praying. It will get better. It will get better. I sat down with CNN and I saw Donald Trump saying the election that ushered the current president was ABC and he disagreed with it. That's a democracy that is older than us. Let's be very careful. Church is quiet today. I don't belong to any political party. You see me? Because we have APP here, YPP here, CDPP here, ITT here, and every TT here. So why should I? Why, why should? Why should I? My own. My own is just to speak the mind of God and to tell you, please. This country is our country. We have children here, and we must not plummet into darkness. Let's continue to do what we call godly criticism that is very, very positive. But anything that leads to inciting people to go into violence, I'm not part of it. Let's be very careful. Let's give Jesus a clamp of it. Are you ready? That soil, that curse that follow you here, I pray them from now on go higher. Now on, go higher. Amen. God fulfill destiny. Amen. 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 Go higher. Amen. Go higher. Amen. The rest of your life shall be the best of your life. Amen. I declare you are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Amen.